Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. By the title of today's video, I'm sure you guys can tell already that today I'm going to be trying out the Sephora Collection's new foundation, Best Skin Ever, and I'm so, so hyped because, first of all, y'all know I love trying out new foundations. Like, I could just literally buy foundations, but I be wanting to try other stuff too. But I do love purchasing foundations and just seeing, because they all feel so different and I think it's important for everyone to have that one foundation that they can rely on right now. Y'all already know my one foundation is the Too Faced Born This Way um, matte foundation. That is my perfect shade, the perfect feel. Love that foundation. So I'm here today to see if this foundation, best skin ever, can compete with the Too Faced foundation. All right, everybody, so you guys know the drill. I'm going to start off by telling you guys a little bit about this foundation. So... Here's what it looks like. It's a really small bottle. Um, let's see how many ounces it is actually. 0 .84, 0 .84, what's the FL? I don't know what the FL is, but OZ ounces. 0.84 ounces, there. So the bottle's not that big at all, but the foundation wasn't that pricey. Let me pull up my Sephora app and just give you guys a little bit of details about the foundation. Okay, everyone, so just a little bit about the Best Skin Ever Liquid Foundation. Um, I'm on my Sephora app, y'all know this is my, my holy grail. This is where I come and give y'all all the deets. So, what is it? It is a medium coverage natural finish foundation with a long wearing anti-pollution formula that hydrates skin for up to 12 hours and is infused with skincare benefits. So, right off the bat, I already love the fact that it's infused with skincare benefits because my skin be, be doing its own thing sometimes, so I'll be needing a little something to get me right. Now, the part where it says it lasts for up to 12 hours, that's cool to me. I don't really ever get concerned about how long the foundation lasts because personally, I'm it's rare that I'm wearing foundation for 12 hours or like if a foundation claims that they're up to 16 hours or 24 hours, I ain't finna wear my foundation for that long. Like I just, I haven't had a situation where I've needed to wear makeup for that long. But for people who are concerned about it, this foundation does claim to last for up to 12 hours. So I hope that's a good thing for you guys. It also states that the coverage is medium, but can be buildable to full coverage. So that's gonna be interesting because today I actually have a few little red spots on my face. So I just wanna see if I'll be able to cover those up with today's foundation. Um, and it also states that it has a natural finish. So that's really good because you don't want to be walking around looking like a cake face. Get it? Just a while ago, I did state that there were skincare benefits in this foundation. So I'm sure you guys would want to know, like, what are the skincare benefits? So I'm just going to read you, like, the key ingredients in the liquid foundation. So the, highlight, the highlighted ingredients are hyaluronic acid, which hydrates, red algae extract hydrates, and brown algae extract, which provides an anti-pollution protective shield sounds really good to me okay you guys so this is awesome i purchased two different shades because y'all know it's hard to find your shade these days you can't go in the store and pick out your shade well you can pick it out but you can't try it on so what i did was use the sephora app and kind of matched myself i picked my favorite foundation of course the Too faced born this way foundation and um basically they what they do is when you, once you pick your foundation um they match one of these then the foundations that you're looking for the closest match they picked that for you so yeah i ended up choosing let's see i ended up choosing 45p and 35n um i don't know which one is going to match me exactly but my hope is that one of these does matches me exactly so i'm gonna open them Ooh, okay so one thing I didn't notice while I had the paper still kind of on the bottle this bottle is very very pretty it is a mattified bottle and I don't know I just really love matte like matte on products is so cute so I just want you guys to see how cute that is I really like the bottle not that that matters but okay it matters but that's not the most important part but it's just really cute okay so I've zoomed in a little bit because we're about to get up close and personal so you guys can really see what's going on with this foundation look so first to kind of prep my skin I'm gonna go in with this really cute birthday sample um, y'all it is my birth month so my birthday is on March 12th I'm really excited so I got this little free gift from 
not Sephora. I got this free gift from Ulta. It comes for your birthday month or whatever. So I'm just going to spray on this Mario Badescu facial spray. This is the rose water one. I usually do the cucumber, but this one was free. That actually smells really good. <laughs> I might have a new favorite because that was bomb. Okay, so I just brought a little bit of moisturization back into my face. And now I'm going to prime with the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. And it looks like this. So I'm just going to prime my skin. Okay, you guys, so I'm really trying to figure out what should I use to apply this foundation with. Like, I don't know if I want to use a brush. I don't know if I want to use a beauty blender or oh, what. I think what I'm going to do, actually, I think I'm going to take this um, Morphe M70734 and kind of apply it like so and then blend it out with a beauty blender but first i need to figure out which foundation is my color i think i'm gonna try the lightest shade first and that is let's see 35 in Ooh, and this foundation does come with the pump i love a foundation with the pump it's so much easier to use i hate when i have to buy the pump like that's just I don't don't get me started but I don't like that I don't like when like I know back in the day I don't know if this is still like this but like for the MAC foundations you used to have to purchase a pump along with foundation and I kind of thought that was always stupid so yeah Sephora gave us a pump girl all right so here's my hand and I'm kind of just gonna squirt some foundation out Oof. so this is what we're looking like. Y'all, I'm scared. Let me see. Okay, here's one color. And then on the other side, I'm gonna try the 45P. <laughs> All right, that's a little bit excessive. Honestly, I don't know if either one of these are like my perfect shade. That sucks. <laughs> Already that kind of sucks. I mean, I think I could get away with both of these. This one is kind of actually dark though. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> but I do like a little tan though. So I'm gonna use the, the 35. Wait, which one is it? I'm gonna use a 35 in today. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna take this brush and apply this all over my face. It has a really nice feel to it though, which is important when you're picking your foundation because you don't really want a foundation that feels like a cake on your face, like feels like layers of makeup on your face. Well, okay, this, this is like a personal preference. Like I don't want that in my foundation. So it could be different for you. I'm really starting to see like where this could be full coverage. But like they don't want to claim it because it really is a medium coverage. You know, <clears throat> I think I got a little pale this winter with all this quarantine and whatnot. I don't like that. I don't like being pale. Like a little melody. Okay, so pretty much now what I'm about to do is take this beauty blender, spray it a little bit with this same spray just to get it a little bit damp, and then go over the foundation. Yo. All right, 
right, y'all. I'm sure y'all can tell by the way I look right now. I done gave myself a little tan, okay? Like, it's a little orange on me. I don't hate it, but I think that if it was summertime, then it would look a little bit better on me if I had a little bit more pigment in my skin. This is crazy because, like, you don't realize, you know, how your skin is impacted during the winter sometimes, but this foundation is telling it all right now. <laughs> So, what I'm going to do next is I actually bought a concealer by the Sephora Collection as well. So, I want to try that out today too. Okay, you guys. So, this is the Sephora Collection Concealer. It's the Bright Future Concealer. And I picked up the shade Pecan Pie. <laughs> that sounds really cute. Y'all know I'm a sucker for some good makeup names. Like, it's so cute. I love the makeup names. I love the creativity. So... Here is what that concealer is looking like. It has Sephora across the top, so cute. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys the wand as well. All right, so here's the wand. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply in my normal areas. I'm keeping this video really simple and to the point. So I'm gonna highlight up under my eyes, a little bit on my chin and a little bit on my forehead. Oh, I love how this concealer is gliding on my face right now. And I also think this is a really good shade. Ooh, this wand picks up a lot of product. And I like that. Okay, so while I'm letting this concealer settle on my skin, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the other concealer I purchased. So I purchased another Bright Future Concealer by the Sephora Collection. And this is in the shade Truffle. And I just, I'm just i just gonna take this concealer to kind of contour, a little bit of cream contour um, on my skin. I'm gonna take my Morphe E58 and kind of just buff this out. I really, <laughs> I'm feeling this concealer, y'all. I know this is all about the foundation, but this is a four collection concealer. Okay, honey. I like that. <laughs> Now I'm going to take another beauty blender because I want to be able to get up under my eyes. Ooh, these concealers are bomb, y'all. It blends out like so well. I'm ready to go somewhere. <laughs> I want to go somewhere yo this concealer is bomb Y'all, this concealer, like, I know this is about the foundation, but purchase that. If you don't get anything else from this video, purchase that concealer, because that was bomb. Like, the blend was bomb. So, I have one more Sephora Collection product that I really want to try, and it is their Sephora Translucent Powder. Um, it's a setting powder, so I want to set under my eyes, and basically everywhere I highlighted just now. So this is the Sephora Translucent Powder. 
it is about this thick pretty normal for a powder i can probably get a couple of uses out of it I, not a couple but like a lot <laughs> i don't do my makeup that much okay y'all this base right now like it's really cute and the most important thing for me right now this like I said this is a personal preference the most important thing for me right now is that I don't feel like I have makeup on my face I never want to have that feeling sometimes you can't you know you can't help it some makeup is just really thick but this feels very light and I think I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the night <laughs> but no seriously y'all I'm about to finish the rest of my face off camera I'm pretty much gonna tell you guys how I feel about all of these products just because I know this video is about the foundation but all these products are new to me so I want to talk about them all be right back okay you guys so I'm back and I have completed my face of makeup for this video basically what I did was add a little bit of blush pop on some lashes be sure to go to takarbriannabeauty.com and you can get these same lashes use the code adorekels you guys know I love these lashes my last video was all about these lashes and how to apply them so make sure you do that and then the last thing I did was just put on some Fenty Beauty like lip cream gloss in call it a day so let's get into what I think about the best skin ever foundation so the foundation is great I'm not gonna lie like um, best skin ever that, that that's that's a little bit bold so for that y'all I like what y'all try to do there but that's a little bold but I will definitely give this foundation an 8 out of 10 and I'm going to continue to wear this foundation um, even though it's not exactly my skin color when I kind of bronzed it up and you know like highlighted and concealed all that kind of good stuff it made it look like it was a really good fit for me so I might even purchase another shade I'm not sure but I'm feeling this foundation a lot um I didn't do like a test to see how long I can go using this foundation um that like I said earlier that doesn't really matter to me as long as I can go out and about and then you know kind of do what I have to do and come back home that's fine one thing I did notice about this foundation is which this is normal I have a little bit of dry spots on my nose so I have a little flaking on my nose area so on my nose area so just be careful if you have like a dry nose kind of like me be careful with this foundation I might have applied too much and then cause it to flake up a little bit which ain't, that ain't cute but the foundation is still really good overall like I said I definitely would give it an 8 does it beat my Too Faced Born This Way foundation that's still my favorite foundation y'all like I'm not even gonna lie y'all know I don't be flexed out on this channel at all like the Too Faced Born This Way foundation is the bomb that's my favorite foundation favorite color all that like is bomb moving on to the concealer get that like I wasn't playing when I said y'all need to get that concealer the concealer I would get it to obviously highlight if you want to conceal and to um, contour like that was good and I need to try that with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation <laughs> because it was really good I'm not gonna lie like I, I I enjoyed that concealer I enjoyed the blend like blending out that concealer was really good and I think I need to try that out again because it was just really good like I really did like that concealer purchased that and did I don't know if I talked about prices um during this video let me go back and talk about the prices a little bit because they're really affordable so the best skin ever foundation is $20 that is really good compared to 30 plus dollars that I would spend on any other foundation so that's another reason like if you're like thinking about what's what's best like cost wise this is really a good foundation for it's the amount of money that you're paying for it and those concealers are actually only $14 so I mean that's a bargain for me and so the last thing I did try was that translucent powder I feel like you can't really have like much to say on a translucent powder unless it like starts breaking apart or something like that like if it didn't really set your face um the, the powder was good I don't have any complaints about it excuse me <laughs> I don't have any complaints about the powder um how much was the powder the powder was $15 so just $1 more than concealer so you know I would think about getting the powder too um 
what's my favorite powder right now my favorite powder probably is um I think my favorite powder is it's a toss-up between derma blend and the one size I think it's called I think it might be called one size that one size powder is really thin and I like that because the thick powders is just too much like this is it's, it's a lot going on with the thick powders but that one size seems like it's really thin it goes on like it spreads on thin is basically what I'm trying to say so yeah you guys that that concealer bomb purchase that that concealer is a 10 out of 10 I don't know what's that, what that concealer got going on that that foundation didn't have going on for me, but that concealer is a 10, so purchase that, buy that. <laughs> Alright you guys, I'm wrapping up this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and comment down below, have you tried this foundation yet or are you going to try it? Um, do you plan on trying it now after you've seen this video? Yeah, leave your thoughts down below. Like I said, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I'm on my journey to going towards 400 subscribers. So keep up the good work and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.